America's Got Talent has seen its fair share of unforgettable acts, but none's quite like sacred Rihanna. Known for her haunting performances and spine-chilling illusions, sacred Rihanna captivated audiences during her time on the show. But what has become of the enigmatic performer since her appearance on AGT? Has fame brought her fortune or heartache? Stay tuned to find out as we delve into the mysterious life of sacred Rihanna and uncover the untold story behind the captivating illusionist. The magic is incredible, but the horror is real. The beginning. The girl whom we all know as sacred Rihanna actually has her real name as Marie Antoinette Rihanna Graharani and was born on the 13th of July, 1992 in Jakarta, Indonesia. From a young age, Rihanna was immersed in the world of magic thanks to the influence of her father, who was a magician himself. It was under his guidance and tutelage that Rihanna's fascination with magic took root, setting her on a path that would eventually lead her to international acclaim. As Rihanna grew up, her passion for magic only intensified. She attended St. Ursula Catholic School, where she continued to hone her skills and develop her unique style as a magician. Even as a young student, Rihanna showed a remarkable talent and dedication to the art of illusion and prestidigitation. Her performances at school events and talent shows quickly gained her a reputation as a gifted and mesmerizing performer. After graduating from high school, Rihanna pursued higher education at the University of Bunda Mulia. It was during her time at the university that she made a pivotal decision that would shape her career and persona as a magician. Inspired by her deep reverence for the art of magic, Rihanna adopted the pseudonym, The Sacred Rihanna. This name not only reflected her spiritual connection to the craft, but also served as a testament to her unwavering dedication to the mysterious and sacred nature of magic. With her new persona in place, The Sacred Rihanna began to carve out a niche for herself in the world of magic. Embracing a persona inspired by horror films, she sought to captivate audiences with her chilling and mesmerizing performances that defied conventional expectations. The transition from Marie Antoinette Rihanna Graharani to the sacred Rihanna marked a significant turning point in her journey as a magician. It represented not just a change in name, but a transformation of identity, an evolution into a character that would intrigue and mystify audiences around the world. Journey to the Limelight before achieving stardom, sacred Rihanna faced numerous challenges on her path to fame. Despite being best known for her mesmerizing performances as a bizillusionist, her journey was marked by skepticism and doubt due to the male-dominated nature of the industry. As a female magician, she encountered obstacles that tested her resolve. However, Rihanna's unwavering determination and exceptional talent ultimately silenced even her harshest critics. Her unique ability to captivate audiences with a narrative woven through her performances set her apart as an innovative and visionary magician, drawing people into a world of mystery and suspense. Her breakthrough came when she emerged victorious in Stand Up Magic Indonesia in 2012, providing her with a platform to showcase her extraordinary skills. Subsequently, she participated as a contestant in the inaugural season of The Next Mentalist and secured the position of runner-up, further solidifying her presence in the industry. In the following years, Rihanna graced numerous stages and made appearances on various shows, steadily building her reputation as a captivating performer. However, it was her participation in the second season of Asia's Got Talent in 2017 that propelled her to global fame. Emerging victorious in the show after garnering the audience's votes in the grand final by surpassing the Filipino hip-hop dance group DMX Comvalenos, Rihanna's artistry and showmanship garnered widespread acclaim, the America's Got Talent saga. In a surprising turn of events that took place in 2018, the sacred Rihanna, hailing from Indonesia, captured the attention of the world with her mesmerizing performances on season 13 of America's Got Talent. She became only the second Indonesian contestant to grace the America's Got Talent stage, following in the footsteps of Demi and Aditya. Her eerie and captivating acts not only earned her a spot on the show, but also took her all the way to the quarterfinals, 
leaving a lasting impression on both the judges and the audience. Throughout her time on America's Got Talent, the sacred Rihanna delivered highly theatrical performances that transported viewers into a realm reminiscent of scenes from the most bone-chilling horror films. Her uncanny ability to create an atmosphere filled with suspense and mystery was unparalleled, making her stand out among the other contestants. However, it was her unnerving talent for sending shivers down the spine of one of the judges, Mel B, that truly set her apart. During her audition, the sacred Rihanna executed a chilling act that involved a photo of Mel B and a series of photos depicting suspected murder victims. The tension in the room was so thick it could be cut with a knife, as she had Mel B choose a photo and a name, ultimately revealing details that left the judge visibly shaken. This unsettling performance set the tone for her eerie journey on the show, leaving an indelible mark on everyone present. In episode 1309, the sacred Rihanna continued to captivate the audience with her illusionary performance during the judge cuts. Her portrayal of playing with an imaginary friend was so hyper-realistic and frightening that it earned her a unanimous yes from the judges, propelling her directly to the quarterfinals like a specter gliding through the night. As she advanced to the quarterfinals, the sacred Rihanna elevated the spookiness to a whole new level. Her performance involved presenting a look-alike voodoo doll to Mel B, creating an illusion where her doubles emerged from the audience and swarmed the stage while the real Rihanna ascended a wall like a ghostly apparition. The eerie spectacle left both the audience and the judges in awe, and in a shocking turn of events, the performance was abruptly cut short after a scream of terror, leading to a commercial break that left viewers on edge craving for more. While the unexpected ending to her performance left some fans puzzled, so many were left wondering if the performance had concluded as intended or if there was more to come. However, when the show resumed after the break, it went straight to the judges' comments without addressing what had transpired earlier, leaving the audience bewildered and lost in a labyrinth of unanswered questions. The anticipation for a full clip of the performance on YouTube was high, but when it was eventually uploaded, it mirrored what had been shown on stage like a reflection in a haunted mirror. This only added to the mystery surrounding the sacred Rihanna's journey on America's Got Talent. Some fans speculated that the abrupt ending might have hindered her chances of progressing further in the competition. However, it was later revealed through a leaked document from the show's crew that the cut was indeed planned from the beginning and not a result of any technical mishap leaving fans both relieved and intrigued by this revelation. The intentional nature of the cut raised questions about its purpose. Was it meant to generate buzz, showcase creativity, or perhaps both? Regardless of the motive behind it, one thing was certain. It garnered an outpouring of sympathy from fans like lost souls finding solace in each other's presence. The sacred Rihanna's performance became the most viewed among the 12 acts for that night, and amassed over 1 million views on YouTube alone, overshadowing all other performances from that episode like a haunting melody that lingers in the mind long after it has ceased. After her spine-chilling stint on America's Got Talent, the sacred Rihanna ventured to Britain's Got Talent The Champions in 2019, hoping for a different outcome like a ghost seeking redemption. However, Luck was not on her side as she faced elimination in the preliminaries, marking an end to her journey on yet another global talent platform. Cultural Divide and Resilience The cultural disparity between Asian and Western perceptions of magic became apparent during Rihanna's time on America's Got Talent. The sacred Rihanna grew up in Indonesia, her home country, which is an Asian country. Understandably, the concept of magic would lean toward Asian culture, which obviously didn't appeal to the American audience. For instance, American illusionists and audiences are exposed to magic acts, and the tricks are the most impressive thing about the performance. Meanwhile, the reverse is the case for Asian audiences and illusionists. Asian magic shows focus on the plot, and illusions are incorporated into the performance when the story has been laid out. The deviation from the usual explains why some Americans who watched a performance never found it impressive. 
In fact, some viewers refused to vote for Rihanna because they considered her act not scary enough. This may also be the case of a culture clash. American horror often entails jump scares and disgusting and shocking imagery, while that of Asia focuses chiefly on curses and spirits. Rihanna's stint on America's Got Talent propelled her to stardom. Her ability to blur the lines between reality and illusion left both judges and viewers in awe, while simultaneously sending shivers down their spines. Despite not clinching the top spot, her impact was undeniable. Cinematic Journey Undeterred by the outcome on America's Got Talent, Sacred Rihanna ventured into the world of cinema, making history as the first AGT contestant to star in a film. Her horror movie, The Sacred Rihanna Beginning, not only showcased her acting skills, but also garnered immense attention, with the trailer alone racking up over 3 million views. Following this success, she landed a role in the Disney film Stargirl in 2020, where she portrayed the character Grace of Wonderwall. Her foray into the world of film was just the beginning of her diverse artistic endeavors. The same year, she made two appearances on Masters of Illusion, showcasing her mastery in the art of illusion and magic. The year 2022 proved to be even more eventful for the sacred Rihanna as she continued to make waves in the entertainment industry. In July, she took on the lead role in the sequel to her debut film, The Sacred Rihanna 2 Bloody Mary, further solidifying her presence in the horror genre. Additionally, she made a guest appearance on the stage of Indonesia's Got Talent during Fritz's Grand Finals performance, captivating audiences with her enigmatic presence and unparalleled talent. Not confining herself to a specific region, the sacred Rihanna expanded her reach to international platforms. She made her mark on the global stage by reaching the semi-finals of La France a un incroyable talent later that year, captivating audiences with her unique blend of magic and storytelling. Captivating Worldwide Audience In the recent episode of the America Got Talent All-Star, the enigmatic and captivating performer, Rihanna once again graced the stage as a contestant. However, her appearance was short-lived as she was eliminated during the audition round and did not progress to the live performance, leaving her fans disappointed. The performance began with a sense of mystery as Rihanna invited the judges to select random scraps of paper from a box. This set the stage for an intriguing and suspenseful act, capturing the attention of the audience. The atmosphere was filled with anticipation as Rihanna attempted to match these scraps to a torn photograph, adding an element of enigma to her performance. To the amazement of the audience, one of the judges, Mandel, successfully matched his piece to the torn photograph. This moment of connection heightened the intrigue as Rihanna proceeded to showcase a series of perplexing and spellbinding illusions. The crowd gasped in amazement as she made the photograph disappear from its frame, leaving everyone in awe of her mystical abilities. The tension in the room heightened as she directed attention to the stage, where a mysterious figure appeared to rise from beneath a cloth on the table. The audience was on the edge of their seats as they witnessed this eerie spectacle unfold before their eyes, completely engrossed in Rihanna's performance. Drawing Mandel into the performance, Rihanna instructed him to take a seat in a large chair. The atmosphere grew more intense as she proceeded to dramatically stab the photograph with a knife, prompting Mandel to express feeling like he got stabbed in the back. This added an element of suspense and fear to the act, leaving the audience captivated by the unfolding drama. Rihanna then went on to burn the photo and smear the ashes on a board, ultimately revealing the letters Howie. This revelation added another layer of mystery to her performance, leaving the audience intrigued by the significance of these letters and their connection to the unfolding narrative. The performance reached a chilling climax as Mandel returned to his chair, only to discover a note that read, I am coming for you, Howie. The lights dimmed as Rihanna vanished from the stage, leaving the judges and the audience in a state of bewilderment. The sense of unease and uncertainty lingered in the air, creating an atmosphere of mystery and intrigue. 
Heidi Klum voiced the collective confusion by wondering aloud, is everyone as confused as I am? Her words resonated with the audience, reflecting their shared sense of perplexity and fascination with Rihanna's enigmatic performance. In the aftermath of Rihanna's disappearance, a sense of uncertainty lingered in the air. The judges, accustomed to sharing their feedback with performers following their acts, found themselves at a loss as there was no one present to engage with. A moment of hesitation ensued as they deliberated on how to proceed, reflecting the impact of Rihanna's performance on their usual routine. Meanwhile, Mandel's reaction to the unsettling experience was palpable. Clearly shaken, he expressed a desire to swiftly receive feedback from the judges so that he could leave the disconcerting episode behind. His genuine unease was evident as he insisted, I really, legitimately, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you that I'm terrified. I really, legitimately, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you that I'm terrified. When prompted by Simon Cowell to explain his fear, Mandel pointed to the ominous note as justification, highlighting the lasting impact of Rihanna's performance on both himself and the audience. Ultimately, with Rihanna's enigmatic presence still lingering in their minds, the judges made the decision to move forward, despite her absence. The segment concluded with an eerie shot of Rihanna observing them from offstage before vanishing into the shadows, leaving an indelible impression on both the judges and the audience. The mystifying performance by Sacred Rihanna left an indelible impression on both the judges and the audience evoking a blend of fascination and trepidation. As her enigmatic presence continues to captivate a worldwide audience, one can only wonder what other astonishing feats she has in store for future appearances on the AGT stage. What is the sacred Rihanna doing now? Let's take a closer look at the enigmatic magician's current endeavors and how she has been keeping herself busy. At 31 years of age, the sacred Rihanna has been expanding her repertoire beyond just stage performances. One of the most intriguing developments in her career is her venture into podcasting. Yes, you heard that right. The sacred Rihanna has launched a podcast titled Kisa Horror, The Sacred Rihanna on Spotify. In this podcast, she shares chilling tales of horror and suspense, allowing her to connect with a wider audience and showcase a different side of her talents. But that's not all. The sacred Rihanna has also made a surprising leap into the world of snack foods. Teaming up with a gourmet popcorn company, she has created her own line of snacks, offering a unique flavor variant mix that is perfect for enjoying while watching her performances. This unexpected collaboration has garnered attention and added a new dimension to her brand. While she may not be gracing talent shows at the moment, the sacred Rihanna has not faded from the spotlight. Following her success on The Next Mentalist, she has taken on a new role as a judge on the show called The Great Magician. This transition has allowed her to share her expertise and knowledge with aspiring magicians, while also maintaining her presence in the public eye. Despite her absence from talent shows, the sacred Rihanna continues to captivate audiences with her stage performances. Accompanied by her eerie voodoo doll and other spooky assistants, she delivers mesmerizing and hair-raising acts that leave spectators in awe. Her ability to create an atmosphere of mystery and suspense is unparalleled, solidifying her status as a grand magician. Beyond the chilling and enigmatic persona she embodies on stage, the sacred Rihanna leads a surprisingly ordinary life off stage. A glimpse into her personal life through her Facebook page reveals a side of her that is rarely seen by the public. In contrast to her stage persona, she can be seen in everyday settings, devoid of her signature long-sleeved gown and voodoo doll. It is almost surreal to witness her in casual moments, such as spending time with her family members, which starkly contrasts her enigmatic stage presence. The private nature of the sacred Rihanna extends to her personal life as well. She has chosen to keep details about her romantic relationships under wraps, offering little insight into her boyfriend or husband on her social media platforms. As a result, her relationship status remains a mystery, adding to the intrigue that surrounds her persona. In terms of her financial success, 
The sacred Rihanna has allegedly amassed an estimated net worth of $3 million. This wealth has been accumulated through her participation in various shows and ventures, showcasing her business acumen and entrepreneurial spirit. Her ability to leverage her talents into financial success demonstrates that she is not only a masterful magician, but also a savvy businesswoman. What distinguishes Sacred Rihanna? While there are countless talented women in the world of magic, Sacred Rihanna's unique approach and unwavering influence have set her apart in a league of her own. What truly distinguishes Sacred Rihanna is her utterly unique and unsettling style. Unlike many magicians who rely on flashy tricks and elaborate illusions to dazzle their audiences, Sacred Rihanna takes a different approach altogether. Her performances are characterized by an eerie and unsettling atmosphere that leaves audiences both mesmerized and slightly unnerved. This distinctive style has earned her a dedicated following and has cemented her status as a truly original and unforgettable performer. Furthermore, Sacred Rihanna's commitment to her character is unparalleled. From her ghostly appearance to her haunting stage presence, she fully embodies the persona of the mysterious and otherworldly Rihanna. This level of dedication to her craft is rare and makes her performances truly immersive experiences for her audiences. Moreover, Sacred Rihanna's success on the international stage sets her apart from many other female magicians. With her impressive win on Asia's Got Talent and subsequent appearances on America's Got Talent The Champions, she has proven herself to be a global phenomenon. Her ability to captivate audiences from diverse cultural backgrounds speaks to the universal appeal of her unique brand of magic. In addition to her performance skills, Sacred Rihanna's storytelling abilities also distinguish her from other female magicians. Each of her acts is carefully crafted to tell a haunting and evocative story, drawing audiences into a world of mystery and intrigue. This narrative-driven approach to magic sets her apart and adds an extra layer of depth to her performances. Finally, Sacred Rihanna's impact on the magic community cannot be overstated. As a female magician from Indonesia, she has broken barriers and inspired countless aspiring magicians around the world. Her success serves as a powerful reminder that magic is a diverse and inclusive art form with room for performers of all backgrounds. Sacred Rihanna's unique style, unwavering commitment to her character, international success, storytelling abilities, and impact on the magic community all combine to distinguish her from other famous female magicians. She is truly in a league of her own, and her influence on the world of magic is sure to be felt for years to come. In conclusion, Sacred Rihanna has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the world of magic, and her legacy as a groundbreaking and innovative performer will continue to inspire generations of magicians to come. As we look to the future of magic, it is clear that Sacred Rihanna's influence will continue to shape and redefine the art form for years to come. Now that we've delved into the world of Sacred Rihanna, what do you find most intriguing about her unique approach to magic? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the conversation. Thanks for watching, fam. For more mind-blowing videos, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.